Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are kicking off my spring cleaning series. I know this is a massive favourite with you guys. Sorry it's a little bit later on in the year, but good things come to those that wait. So today we are starting with my tack room and as you know, it's a little bit messy, so I've had to bring in the experts on this one. So today I am joined by Cassie from Tidy Tack and she's gonna teach me exactly how to tidy my tack room so that I don't have to keep doing it every single year. <laughs> Hi guys! So I'm very excited because I absolutely love doing people's tack rooms. It's like my most favorite thing in the world. So yeah, very keen to get started. Shall we have a look? at the absolute terror that's going on in there yes. at the minute. <laughs> so for anyone new to my channel, this is my tack room and as you can see, it is very messy. So I own seven horses, six of which live at the farm here. So we have a lot of things for these seven horses. So for example, saddle pads. This is the wardrobe I made last year, I think, for my saddle pads, but hanging them up just means they get dirty now. And we do also collect a lot of random stuff. So today, Cassie's going to help me to organize everything properly. I have got a little bit of organization, but as you can see, just over the months of constantly using it, the tack room is looking pretty dirty and pretty unorganized. So we are going to fix that. And we do have plenty of space to work with. We just need to take a lot of this out and deal with it. <laughs> okay, so we've seen the state of my tack room. A little bit messy. Where do we go from here? Okay, so the way I start is with organizing, you have to categorize everything. Right. So what I like to do first is the big groups. And okay. That's always rugs and saddlecloths. Yep. Um, everyone always has far more of these than they admit and we you know, we have a little bit of fun, we get it all out so how many do you think you've got, we have a little guess, <laughs> maybe do a little Instagram poll, see who wins the prize. Oh, um, a lot. <laughs> so the way you need to do this is you have to get everything. Okay. So all of your rugs, every single rug from anywhere, you know, people that have been in the loft, in the garage, in the car boot, you know, around their nan's house, wherever. Yeah. You have to get them all together because what tends to happen is people put things in various places, Yeah. they forget they've got it and they go and buy another one. So then you yep. come back and you'll be like, you've got 19 lightweight stable rugs and you've yeah. got one horse and they'll go, oh. <laughs> and then we can whittle it down. Okay. Obviously not, sometimes you need everything, that's yeah. fine, you've got to keep it. It's not about getting rid of stuff, but it's making you aware of what you have got and then finding the best way to store it. So usually I do rugs first, get them into their piles, okay. then saddle cloths, and then we start talking about how you want to store it because it's different for everyone, okay. how you work, how you use the yard, how you use the tack room when you use the stuff, things like that, and then we get a bit of a plan together. Brilliant. Okay. Rugs. <laughs> Start with the big thing. Yes. So this is the current state of my rug collection. We do have a lot of hangers outside that we predominantly use in winter to dry the rugs, but these have kind of become a bit of a rug hoarding system. There's every type of rug here, all of the horses rugs are mixed up, there's even rugs in this like cupboard thing hidden behind lots of different things. So yeah, there's a lot to go at. Where do you want to put the piles? Um, do you want to put them by their stables so that make it easier so we know who's is who or? Yeah. That's, that's a clever way of doing it. So, this one, the red one should be Lucy and Chili. So I have got... <laughs> what was oh, that? that was a spider. Oh, I don't like spiders. <laughs> <laughs> was it massive? It was a still on there. <laughs> There's no spider anywhere. <laughs> that was a good retribution. start. And um, I've got six for six here. Right, so that should be chilies. I've got six for six. So that must be looses. What a fantastic start. Let's hope there's not many more spiders in these rugs because I don't think I can cope. Bloody one, please. <laughs> 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 is that another spot? No, no, Mary, because we're getting a bit of mud on Mary. We're having fun when we start sweeping all the walls down. I'm not okay. <laughs> um, see, look how quickly we've got a bit of that already. That's not raining, is it? I think it's raining, yeah. I've left my shoes outside. Do you want me to go grab your shoes? I'm lifting my makeup off. Four foot nine. Yeah. I didn't even know I owned that rug. <laughs> that one. Is that a caramel or a taffy? I think that's a caramel. That looks very small. It's cute. You need to double check. Because sometimes, because they're um, deceiving me. I've got 
Oh, what a nice one. Oh, I've got a black. Oh, this one's got to be caramel, unless it's a neck cover. How many yeah. ropes of this tiny pony have? For this massive horse. <laughs> Yeah. I've just seen a massive spider go around. No, you haven't. No, you haven't. There was movement. There was movement. No. Oh, great. Who's, none of them are six foot three. If you've got any that you don't want to keep, just pop them into a separate pile. Um, I'll have to double check with them, but yeah. I've got six foot three here as well. So after many attempts at avoiding spiders, we finally got outside cleared and it was then time to head inside the tech room where we found even more rugs. And as well as hoarding rugs, it turns out we hoard travel boots. So I didn't even know we had this many pairs of travel boots, but there was a lot. So guys, we've got everything out. It's looking a little bit crazy at the minute, but what we are going to do is start using the tidy tack bags to organize everything. So there's a few different bags. We're gonna start with the rugs, um, but there's a few different bags we're gonna to use today. So Cassie is gonna show us them and kind of explain how they work. Okay, so first up, I'll start with the travel boot bags. So. These came about because I got really fed up. You know the plastic bags your travel boots come in? Yeah, they, they just split. ripped. <laughs> and then you end up, don't you, with your travel boots all over the tack room. There's always one down the back of something. And you can't find yeah. one. Or yeah. it goes down the back of the metal feed bin. And then you're like, ugh, breaking your ribs <laughs> to reach it. So these are the travel boot bags. They are 90 centimetres long. So they're designed to fit full size. You know the Premier Equine one, Ballistic ones with the nose? Oh, like the big, big ones. They will hold them. They have loads of room in, you can see they're very deep. So you can also get in like your show rug, spare head collar, tail bag, pole guard, overreach boots, everything in one bag. They come labelled, this one doesn't have a label, but they do say the word travel on. Um, and you can add personalisation or you could label it differently. They're fantastic for the racking in the yeah. horse area on lorries as well. You can get loads of rugs in them. They all come with a double zip carry handle and then some customers we can if they want it we add another handle there so they can oh, okay. if they want to That's um so yeah those are the travel boot bags um, next are the saddle pad bags so this is the purple one and again they will fit every single type of saddle pad so you get dressage jump close contact gp yeah etc in the same bag yeah they are um, pretty big they will hold 10 to 12 thin saddle cloths, if you think you like, they're like wolf wear all the thin ones. Yeah. Or six to eight thicker ones. Um, again, they are handled to carry. They come with the labels and you can choose the label. There's jump, GP, dressage, close contact. Mm -hmm. Again, you can add personalisation or you can change the label to say saddle pads, competition, whatever you want. All of the bags have these double zips, they're extra heavy duty and they're taped on the inside as well so the bags are fully waterproof and machine washable. Oh, so you just chuck them in when you wash your saddle pads, yep. which I definitely do really often. And they dry really quick as well, yeah. which is brilliant. Oh, that's good. Um, next up are the big rug bags. So. <laughs> Honestly, like the thickness, how much you can get in these. So these are really, really good. Um, they are big, they will hold loads. They've been designed to hold, if your rugs are about six, 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 nine, mm. you'll get six rugs in each bag. Wow. Um, no one ever believes that is true. <laughs> <laughs> we'll prove it. <laughs> and again, um, so these bags here are all blank, but they do come with labels on. The big rug bags you can choose from field or stable. Yeah. And again, you can add anything you want. So um, we have people, sometimes they'll do like winter and summer. Some people will do like heavyweight and then the sizes. Okay. Um, some people will do the makes. It's whatever makes sense to you, how you store your rugs. So again, these are huge. <laughs> Um, and again, they'll hold loads and loads of rugs. And finally, we have the small rug bags. These are, again, really good. So they're designed, again, for like show rugs. You can see there, this one's labelled show. Um, you can also get fleeces, fly rugs. These will hold 
uh, three to four thinnish ones. Yeah. You can, some people, if you haven't got many big rugs, they'll like to store them individually. Yeah. So you might put one big turnout like or one massive big stable. One, yeah. yeah. If you've only got a couple and you just want to grab them easily. Yeah. Or if you've got like a little pony like caramel. So she's only got tiny rugs, so we can probably fit quite a few in with just one of those. Yeah. And these also will fit the pony saddle pads. Oh, brilliant. So if you've got little tiny saddle pads for a pony, these are perfect. And um, again, all the bags have these double zips. They're uh, extra heavy duty, heavy duty zips. Bags are all waterproof and machine washable. And the way they're designed is they're a modular storage system. Yeah. So they stack. So the idea behind it is they create space in your tack room. Yeah, which then, we need. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone here, we want space. Um, they condense everything, and because they stack, you can then take storage upwards yeah. rather than outwards. So I like so. these because the problem is with my tack room, it gets very dusty. Yes. So my like open saddle pads that I've got at the minute, if I don't wear those, I have to wash them. So a bag where I can just pop them in and yeah. they're nice and secure and they'll stay clean yes. <laughs> um, so I don't have to wash them all the time is going to be fantastic and no spiders no spiders you no won't spiders. get jumped on when you pull one out <laughs> oh fantastic so what we're going to do now guys is we're going to go through and you're going to see how Cassie personalizes each of the bags and um, so I think we're going to do it for each horse they're going to have their own bag because they do have quite the rug collection. Um, but yeah, I'll show you some of the bits in detail and let's go and organize. So now is for the super fun part and that was deciding which colors each horse would have. So Cassie has an array of colors that are available on the website. All the links will be in the description so you can go and design your own bags over there. So once we'd chosen which colour each horse was having, it was then time to personalise it. So Cassie will personalise every single bag that she sells, um, and this is how she does it, it's really clever. So every single horse is going to have their own name on the bag, and as she explained, you can really have whatever you want on there. It can say rugs, it can say turnout, it can be the brand of rug, whatever you want, but I just wanted each horse's name because they all really only had up to about six rugs. So everyone's rugs are gonna fit in one bag, which is brilliant and is really easy for me to store. Okay, so there's a few different ways to fold rugs and it depends how you want to store them. So the first one I'm gonna show you is if you're storing them in one of the tidy tack bags. Because um, to fit maximum amount of rugs in the bag, you're better folding them longer and thinner than short and fat. So that's the terminology. So all you want to do is lay your rug out as flat as you can, just in half like this, make sure it's flat underneath. And what you're going to do first is just fold the front straps in like this. And then if there's a tail flap, some of them obviously have massive tail flaps, you can just fold it in. Little ones like this you can just tuck under. So what we're aiming for is just the sort of rectangle shape. Once you've done that, if your straps are long, these are quite short straps, so they're fine. Just fold them in. Then you want to grab the underneath and just fold in half. And then you just want to grab it again and fold it in half again. And that's the best way for in the bags. I'll show you putting them in the bags a bit later, but when they're flatter like that, you can get two in next to each other and then stack on top and they fit nicely in. Brilliant. <laughs> So we decided to spice up tidying a little bit and me and Cassie were going to have a race to see who can fill a bag the fastest. So we chose two pals with the same amount of rugs and we're going to see who can fill the bag first. she's literally the rug folding queen however I don't think I did too bad for my first attempt there are however a lot more rugs to keep folding so we'll get all those done until they're all finished and folded away so I also brought Smokey's rugs because his stuff is also being fully organized even though he doesn't live on the farm just so I can store his items here as well which makes it a little bit easier for me and will keep my livery a little bit tidier so 
Smokey has quite a lot of rugs. I think he had 10 rugs um, just for him. He's a bit of a golden child, as we all know. So he's gonna have two different types of rug bags. He's going to have a stable and then a turnout just to make it a little bit easier for me to know what's in which. So for Taffy, we actually use two smaller rug bags, so these aren't the full size ones and it just shows how much you can still fit in there. Obviously his rugs aren't the largest, but the really big rug bags, you can definitely fit six heavyweight big rugs, um, so like six foot plus size rugs. But yeah, that is Smoke's rugs all nice and organised and they can now stay so clean. I'm so excited about this, it's going to make my life so much easier. So now we've tackled the mahoosive job of my rugs, it's now onto my saddle pads. Now I don't actually have that many saddle pads I don't think, um, but we're going to be organising these into bags. So how I'm going to be splitting them is a dressage bag and a jump bag. And I'm also doing a little bag for memories. So I keep saddle pads from my first ponies which are like tiny ones that I never ever use um, and you'll see in a moment that I've just popped those in a little bag called memories but first I'm just popping all my dressage squares in this big bag and as you can see it holds so many and I didn't actually have many of my jump pads at home a lot of them were on livery so I'll be bringing those down to fill my jump bag soon so this little pink one is all my little baby ones from when I was younger um, and we just keep them. I don't know why, it's just one of the things that I've kept from being younger. I just think they're really cute. So that is going to stay there. And there we go, everything is bagged up and I'm so excited because as much as I love my little rack that I made, it just wasn't very feasible. It just got dirty and everything got dusty. And speaking of dirt and dust, it's now time to tackle the actual tack room. So we've removed the majority of like the rugs and all of the saddle pads and everything. So now what we're gonna do with what's left in there is we're having a clean down. So I was just hoovering everything, sweeping everything down, giving everything a wipe. And then Cassie is going to help me reorganize the tack room so it makes more sense and it's easier to actually find things and utilize the space. So we started by moving some of the taller things into the corners, which you'll see later on when I do the big reveal. And we also organized all of the drawers, um, which we'll be adding labels on later so that I know absolutely where everything is just by looking at it. I don't have to go rifling through everywhere, which will make life so much easier. And so here we're doing like the first aid kit and it's so important to know where everything is, especially if you need it in an emergency. So we had a really good reorganize of everything. And I also gave everything a clean down. So my feed bins get filthy and this is mainly due to overwinter coming in in like muddy boots and just the dust build up so I wanted to give them all a really good wipe down and just clean everything in sight so that you know it's had a proper spring clean and it's all ready for me to get it dirty again in winter joking I'm gonna stay on top of it I am going to keep it clean but I know how much you guys love the spring cleaning videos so I can't be too clean because then I won't have a video to film next year So guys, now that the tack room is pretty tidy, it's time to organise even further. So Cassie has printed out some different labels for us so that I know exactly what's in every single drawer. If it's not in a bag, it's now been organised in like a drawer or in a box or something. And each one has got its own little label that we're going to pop on now.
So now is for the big reveal. So this is what my tack room originally looked like. Quite messy. And this is it now. So Cassie has absolutely worked her magic in here. As you can see, it's so much more organised. Everything has its place. Nothing, there's like no bits and bobs here and there. There's, you know, everything's in a drawer or it's hung up and everything is labelled. Even the files are labelled. So this cabinet has all of my poultice things in it, it has my first aid, it has my clipping and everything in the drawers is all organised as well so it's really easy access, everything's very clear where it is and what it does um, which is going to make my life so much easier. And then the bit I've been waiting to show you, this is now my rug and saddle pad collection. Everything is now stacked because as Cassie said, this is a modular system. So I've been able to stack all of the horses rugs together um, in one unit and I've popped it in what used to be my rack for my saddle pads. So this keeps it nice and contained and it means that my rugs aren't sat on the floor either, which is even better. And then over to the right of my rugs, I have this little unit. So I have some bits and bobs, some supplements, some fly spray. And then down at the bottom, we have spare bags. And then over here, where the food section was, is looking a lot cleaner. So all the bins now fit on one wall. Everything is labelled and easy to find. And we've also cleaned everything down and nothing's dusty. It's just so clean and lovely. And can we just talk about this transformation? Outside, my tack room looked so messy and now it's so organised. All the mud boots and all of the travel boots are in bags. I cannot believe how many sets of travel boots I had. So we've actually split them into sizes and there's a few sets in one bag. And then we've also tidied the outside using my red gorilla tubs and these have all got some stickers on them and I chose the lilac because I wanted them to be so you could read them but not like really obvious in your face so yeah I'm so happy with these I absolutely love my tack room now so guys that is it I have a tidy tack room all thank you to Cassie so if you are interested in getting your tack room tidied, you do have to do that service, don't you? Do, yes. So the in-person service, so I can come in like I've done with Georgia and tidy everything for you and organise it. Um, there's also the rug reset. If you just need bags for your rugs, we can provide you with a beautiful colour-coded chart so you know exactly what to buy. Um, and we do a virtual tidy tack room service as well, so that's done via Zoom if you just want to do it yourself and I'll motivate and encourage. I definitely recommend it. I've actually had so much fun. Um, I'd never thought I'd say tidying my tack room could be fun. But I absolutely have. So a massive thank you for coming and doing that. Um, I will keep it clean. You guys have got to make sure that I do. Remind me in the comments. But thank you so much for watching. I'll put all the links to Cassie's social media and to the Tidy Tech website all down below. So please check it out if you want to grab some bags or anything like that. That will all be down there for you. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye guys.